James. I'm Kimberly. And we're Camper Size Living, and it's early in the morning. And if you've been following along with us, you know that our camper was totaled, taken away. We've been looking for a camper. We've been doing some, what do we call it? We've been going and looking at campers and trying to find the right one. Shopping, all that shopping. Shopping, right. Yeah, we've been shopping for campers. And you know that we just got a camper, but everything happened so fast and into the night and with a private seller. So we did not get a chance to film the camper. This morning, Kimberly and I are gonna go into the camper for the first time. It's empty and have a, our first cup of coffee in the camper. One of our favorite things about full-time RVing. And then we will give you guys a tour of the new camper that we got. Let's go. There it is. Ooh, it's cold this morning. At the time of this filming, we're not sure is that Big Red or Clifford, but certainly those two are in the lead. Whichever way you go, Clifford the Big Red truck, maybe. Looks good with the silverback pulling behind. And there's Peppy. Some of y'all have asked who Peppy is. Peppy was our 91 F-250, 7.3 liter. Um, right now it looks like we got a valve problem, so uh, we may be doing a valve job on him. We want to get him running right because he's a great truck before we see what we do with him. All right. Did you lock it? Oh, I did lock For it. For real? Lock door. <laughs> How many of you husbands have seen that look on your wife's face? I gotta go get the keys. No, I'm just playing, but seriously, <laughs> it is pretty chilly out here. Hi, darling. I got the keys. There's the right one. This is also Max's first time in the camper. Max, you want to come home? Oh, oh, come on, Odie. Come on, there you go. Look at that's a lot of steps. On the heat. Yeah, let's figure out how to turn on the heat. Furnace, um, auto, and I guess temperature. Up, yeah. <laughs> Kimberly likes it hot. She says warm, I say hot. Oh, look at that big window to look out. This was probably the number one selling point of the camper. That's right, look at this. You almost can't not get the window in that whole shot. That's a wide angle shot from the end of the table. And you can't hardly get the sides of the window in that or the top or the bottom. Look at this, look at these cute lights here. Isn't that neat? And this guy up here, so much nicer. Oh, he's gonna like the window right here too. Oh yeah. Odie allegedly is staying with Wyatt. That's who he started with. Max, you found some carpet? <laughs> you like it, buddy? Yeah. Look at all the windows. Windows on the sides of the slide, that's also a huge selling point. That open up some over there. Wow. Odie. you believe it? Is it as good as you remember? Yeah. Of course, Kimberly has some plans that are gonna be awesome. We're gonna give y'all a tour today, just the way it is when we bought it. And then, we start the improvements. It's like, it's like, it's Very comfortable. The kitchen table works great. I'm loving the window. The couch is comfortable and not too bad looking. Kimberly will probably want to cover that. Let's take a look at the rest of the camper real quick. So we're going to start in the bedroom. You come in the entry door, up a couple steps. There's a sliding door, but it doesn't really slide. I don't know. We're going to have to look at that. All right, Vanna, what do we have in here? A bathroom bedroom. Bathroom, bedroom. <laughs> yep. Bed, bath. 
Yeah, Bed Bath and Beyond. Maybe we'll put a desk in here and then it will be that. All right. Good so we will actually have a dresser. Yes, look at that. I'm so excited. Oh, here, let me turn this light on too. So there's switches for some of the lights that turns that one on there. We have all the storage up here. We have a big closet. That's crazy. We had about a two foot tall closet or and about a foot deep. It wouldn't even fit a hanger in it. This one already comes with a hanger. And then more storage over here. Right. Look at that. We are very excited about. Yeah. And, and then, there's an outlet down here. Right down there on that side there's an outlet. And what they did is they ran that extension cord underneath the mattress to make an outlet over here. So I mean hey it works. And the windows? Look at those nice curtains though. We're keeping the curtains, right? <laughs> Look at that though. Like we were talking about before, you got the windows that open up on the sides to get that cross breeze. There's speakers in here. Here's your TV antenna. We probably won't use that too much. There is a vent, but no fan right here. No AC unit. The AC is piped in here. It's one AC unit. Is that a smoke alarm? Speakers. Carbon monoxide and smoke alarm in the bedroom. Okay, that's good. And then the side shelf here for each of us. And a little room down here. I'm sure we can find some use for that. So let's look at the shower. We almost had to take this camper back last night. I was going through here um, 11.30 at night, midnight. And I realized that something was wrong with this that may be a deal breaker. Nice. Shower door a little sticky. A little sticky. The... Stuff and all looks in pretty good shape. A little yellowing on the faucet handles there. Here comes the deal breaker. Oh no! Not the oxygenic shower head. We love our oxygenic shower head. We'll, we'll just go buy you a new one. Yes! The oxygenic shower head. Uh, this is not a commercial for them. We, just, we, we are just, not sponsored We're not by sponsored oxygenic. by them, but. <laughs> We love them in our shower uh, because it is a pretty low flow shower head, mm -hmm. but it doesn't feel like it at all. It's a great pressure to it and great. It feels like great volume. Apparently it's less than normal, but I love it. I like it better than most home showers that I go into. Do we got company? We do. Oh, who's here? My twin. Not really my twin. No. Good morning. Good morning. That is Dawn. She has been our awesome host here. That's Kimberly's sister. I've been looking up all the things I want to put in here. Fantastic fans, shower heads, all that stuff. As I find those things, I'm probably going to get them from Amazon. It's just the easiest way for us, and it's the least expensive. I'll put links to all that in the videos down below, uh, so you too can find them and try them out if you'd like. We'll show you what it's all like once we install it, of course. So, as Kimberly was showing her sister... Um, the bedroom and the size of it she reminded me of something in the last video if you remember the RV we thought we were gonna buy that ended up having the water damage and all um, I couldn't stand up because there was a step by the bed and this one there is no step by the bed you can see I got lots of room up here um, it fades down that way a little bit but I just gotta dip my head just a touch and that'll be Kimberly's side anyway now you know that about us can we really sleep on that side? I'll sleep on this side. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. And if you remember also in the last one, the bathroom was a little tight. My shoulders touched both sides of the walls. So this one is not like necessarily ginormous, but look at this. That's a good amount of room in there. And so you have your light up here. You got just a little fan. We're probably gonna wanna put a bigger fan. We really like that in our camper, but the vent opens up and they all have those vent covers so that when you're driving down the road or when it's raining, it's less likely to come in. So that's awesome. And then also, you can turn the light on up here or there's a switch on this side, okay? And then a switch for the fan down here. Something that we didn't consider before 
we just always would go in and turn our light on on the ceiling. But we had some friends with some kids, and they walked in. They're like into the bathroom to use it. They're like, "How do you turn the light on?" Well, now they can reach the light switch because it's not just on the ceiling. Pretty cool. Hold on. I did not test the toilet. How do you flush the toilet? Oh, there it is. It's on the left side. Let's see. There it is. That's crazy. I hadn't seen one flush on the left side. I'm going to have to change my brain. Let's check out this toilet. Ah, yes. Now, something else that... This is good. This is good. Yeah, this would be like a nice little... Pro I think I might put a shelf here. And... You know, you got to have your phone so you can watch YouTube and learn how to do things and watch RVing videos. If you come in here, Pierre, my brother-in-law, Pierre, is being the camera guy. The toilet paper roll holder is in the best place I've ever seen a toilet paper roll holder. Normally, they put them back here where you got to do like this and like contort yourself or down here where my big knees get in the way. This is right at a usable height. Look at that. I may, for the first time in my life, leave the toilet paper roll on the holder in our home. So, this just keeps getting better. Oh, look at this, too. Look at this. This used to be the biggest pain in the butt with our bed. I'm trying to hold that up, wrestle it. Two of us do that. And now, one person can do it. It has shocks. This is like a legit platform. It's like an inch, inch and a half. What do you think, Pierre? Oh yeah, easy. Yeah. But there's not a lot of storage under there. Well, the whole bed slides, so I'm curious about that because there's like a tray. So I'm curious if there's storage underneath that. Oh, that you access on the outside? Um, no, I think that there's space under there for sure, but I don't know. That's very cool. And the mattress actually feels pretty decent. It's a Serta mattress. So we may end up keeping that for a little yeah. while. Cool it is. Wow, making, like his it. making his return. Holy smokes. Awesome. The boys returning to camper size living. Hey, there's an upgrade here. Oh, man. <laughs> yes. It's crazy. I can't even touch the ceiling in this one. I know it. Look at that. Holy wow. Go look at our room. So this is our son, Jacob, our youngest son, and then Wyatt, our middle son, if you haven't seen them before. Oh, that's good. It's good, isn't it? Kimberly right. doesn't have <laughs> wow. What do you think? I think I'm going to have to upgrade to one of these. <laughs> right? This is the front living like y'all wanted? No, this is a front bedroom. Front bedroom. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, it's a bunkhouse. It's got a little bunk in the back. So come down the little stairs here. And you got your kitchen counters. You got cabinets on this side. Got your control center here. With a bunch of switches, I'm not sure what they all do. This one controls the lights, overhead lights in the house. This one controls the outside light. Don't know what these do. Here's your slide control. None of these appear to be working right now, so I don't know if it's a fuse or what. Uh, the pump does work. We tested that out when we bought it. Somebody asked about the tanks. Can't really test the tanks without just seeing if there's leaks underneath, which I didn't see any. But the pump we were able to try. The water heater. And then this controls the um, electric lights. This is sweet. And then it's got nice stainless steel sink here. Um, with actual like metal handles and stuff. Not the plastic stuff you get now. This is actually going to be really cool, I think. It's spice rack and i think you put your knives in here the oven looks like it hadn't hardly ever been touched it is missing one knob there right there but three but look at that that kimberly it doesn't look like anybody's ever cooked anything on this microwave lots of storage up top all the cabinets awesome then you got all these drawers down here Honestly, what we could do right here, too, is we could add a flip-down counter that we could flip up if Kimberly wants more space. This is perfectly set up for that. We've got a ceiling fan. We've got overhead lights here. And we got lights here and under here. We're planning on replacing these style lights with those style lights. Or something like that. More of a household residential look, but still using the 12-volt. They're hard to find, though. 
If you've got any ideas or links or places we can get residential looking 12 volt light fixtures, I would love to hear from you because I've been able to find a couple like this on Amazon, some of the hang down globe ones, which now we could use some more because we do have taller ceilings. But as far as the lower profile ones, very hard to find good looking lights. This camper reminds me of a couple of years and we'll find it. The one where we're camping on tents and I Oh yeah, yeah. That's how we decided we needed a camper. Yeah. Jack likes it. Look at the kitchen table works good for coffee. Yeah. So we'll continue on the tour here. We've got big storage up there. Freezer. Um, this refrigerator is actually, the refrigerator is a lot bigger than what ours was. You see how much bigger the fridge is than ours was? Yeah. That's a lot more room. A lot more room there. And uh, more control over it, right? So it's got the auto and the gas and on and off and you can set your temperature. Ours was a one temperature deal. It's got one AC unit and then these speakers throughout. And it's the white switch. Yep. Yeah, Looks like pretty much. And then you, can you know what they on. got in here? Kimberly, this is surround sound. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah, they got the center. Well, they got the actual center oh. channel and okay, the so left and the right. The two behind you. And then the two behind you. Wow. Sweet. And then you got cabinet here. My pantry. The pantry. We might have to negotiate some of that. Oh. Just awesome. We're just blown away. You can listen to music. And then here is Autumn's bunk room. Now we were hoping this would be, oh, it's nice and toasty in here. A little bit bigger, but it's much bigger than what she had. Let's turn on some lights. There we go. So she's got a little shelf up there and these are full size bunks here. There's one up here and one down there. And then let me see if I can show you the cabinetry. It's kind of tight in here as you can see it's about as big as the bathroom really between the bunks and the storage there's storage way up here too place for the old school tv where you got your outlet and your cable hook up um, and then this is the back side of that pantry kimberly was talking about out there she does have a, a window here that can push out and that will get her a nice breeze in there and then down below there's a window there and that actually is also on a door that goes from about the top of the window all the way down to the floor um, so she could actually open that door or just the window and this window up here and this window here so lots of windows lots of windows there's her door there she's got a couple of drawers there and the cabinet and then that's the place for the TV up there I think what she's talking about doing is probably taking out this bottom bunk possibly raising the top bunk a little bit um, and putting like some bean bags and then setting up shelves with her her TV and her Xbox and all of that stuff. And then I think um, actually with this outlet and stuff up here, instead of putting the TV up here and having an outlet and all, it's perfect what she was saying for her record player. Autumn has started collecting vinyls, right? So she's got some LPs that are awesome. She's got, she got a collection down staying with um, her grandparents in Florida in their RV park, um, she bought for 15 bucks. She got a whole box of uh, 45s. And I mean to tell you, she had in there, she had Elvis, she had Queen, she had Elton John, she had not Patsy Cline, but kind of a lot from that era. It's just unbelievable. Roy Orbison, Pretty Woman in there. I mean, she had some unbelievable ones and she was so pumped about it. We sat there all night with her grandpa and um, Greg, friend of theirs and we just sat out there and she just kept playing records and it was just a good time so this would be a great place for that and she could actually keep her collection probably up here i think this will end up being a really great space for her although it's not quite as big as we were hoping for overall pulling the camper last night it was awesome the truck did a great job pulling it it's so smooth people said there's a huge difference between pulling a fifth wheel and a travel trailer and they were right just just awesome so we'll do we'll do the tour of the inside today we'll do a tour of the outside at another time um, but it has the two slide outs one in the living room big super slide out in the living room and then one in the bedroom i think it's right at like 
9,000 pounds, maybe empty. So we should be well within our towing capabilities with the truck, especially we do some upgrades. We had no problem stopping. I had to actually dial my brake controller back because it was about putting us through the windshield. So um, that was a little bit of a learning curve, but just a great experience towing it too. So uh, we're probably actually pretty thankful that it's not even bigger than it is um, because this is, this is amazing. So anyway, got the whole family together. I swear I smell eggs and bacon cooking. It must be coming off of you. I know, I smell some breakfast. Yeah. Guys, this is what it's all about. This is one of our favorite things about full-time RVing is the time. The mornings, every morning can be like this. It really can. Not running around crazy, but we're so thankful to Don and Pierre for allowing us to stay here. And then we're going to keep the rig here for a couple weeks, probably or a week or so at least to do some painting and some renovations before we hit the road again. Spend some more time with the boys. And Jake and Wyatt and I are about to jump in the truck and we're gonna run up to Kentucky on a little boys trip uh, to go get a little boys trip. Campers they ain't never seen before, right? Yeah. Oh, no, I think they did see it. Has it been? Maybe, you'd have to go back to our Mackinac Mill Creek ones from this past summer. I don't know if it was there. They may have seen it now. Yeah, in the background you probably saw it, but we're going to pick up your, what, 36 foot camper um, and bring it down 40 the, through the mountains. Used to be the king of the road when it was first made. Yeah. It used to be the biggest camper on the road. Yep, you step into that thing, we call it the Taj Mahal. That's what me and uh, my buddy Brooke from Loving uh, Life's Journey is, is called it, the Taj Mahal. You step in there and it looks like it just keeps on going forever. But, all right, well, thank you all for joining us. We'll catch up with you next time. Make sure you like the videos, subscribe, leave us comments. We love the comments and we try and get back to as many as we can. You all take care. We're going to have a great day. We hope you have a great day. See you next time. Bye, y'all. Bye.